Okay, right there. Is what the old man used to look like. When we last left you, we just finished going up the trail through the flume at Franconia Notch State Park. Now we need to climb back down the same way we came, and then we're going to go visit a couple other locations in Franconia Notch State Park that are popular with tourists. On our way back down through the flume, we decided to stop and test out a new water filter system that I just recently purchased. What is cold? <laughs> this is a filter that allows us to drink straight from How is it? Very good. Try? Yeah. It's like cold water. Drinking straight from the mountain stream. <laughs> this cottage at the very bottom of the flume was set up as a bit of a museum that showed a lot of pictures and had a lot of artifacts from the area. And of course, like any other tourist attraction anywhere else in the country, the path to the exit leads through the gift shop. Can't mix honey cinnamon. Popping corn on the cob. Nice. made it to our second location in the Franconia State Park. Um, I don't know, what did you think of the flume? Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was nice and cool. It was so... It, it was, was very cool inside the inside the gorge. It was yeah. hot at the base of the mountain, but once you got up there, it was really nice. Yeah, there's very little sunshine in there, so you don't even need sunblock. No. Because they're, you're so deep in that gorge, so... Um, the next and even the bugs were fairly manageable because it was really there wasn't was, any. There was so much like air moving through the flume. Yeah, there really wasn't any. Um, our next stop is the basin, which is two miles up the road from the flume. And what this is is just a giant. Um, the way the there's a river coming down from the other side of of the mountain range, and the river comes down and it forms basically a whirlpool, and over the millions of years that's been going on it has formed basically a, 
A big bowl. A big bowl. <laughs> so we're going to go up there and take, mostly this is just to take a few photographs of the va basin. And then uh, we're going to, uh, well, take you along for the ride. Yeah. So let's go. It's down this path. Let's go. So before we can get to the basin, we have to cross I-93. And this tunnel will take us underneath I-93 and across. And that'll get us in the over into where the basin is. Yeehaw. No swimming. It's, yeah, it's much, it's much cooler. The water that flows through these rivers is really, really cold. So, and a nice view of the river here. Looking upstream, and then looking downstream. It only took us four minutes to get here. <laughs> Let's try that. I'm gonna go with two second timer. All right, here we go. Take our first shot, see how it comes out. Wanna see? Yeah. Oh, wow. Everything looks so smooth. Yep. But, yeah. So the settings for that picture were two second exposure, F9, ISO 100. So the ISO 100 gives it a nice clean shot. The F9 closes the aperture enough so that I can give the water some nice blur. Yeah. And with the filters and everything, I got a very nice shot of this face. So with that, let's go ahead and- uh, Next location. Go to the next location. Here we are at the next location. This is the old man in the mountain. This place was built uh, shortly before the old man died. It's too too bad too. The, what they had here before this was pretty shabby compared to what's here, but the view here is pretty incredible. The mountain range. Old man in the mountain is that way. That's what it used to look like. So, what is this place and what is it? This is the Old Man of the Mountain uh, historic site. Uh, the reason it's historic is because the Old Man of the Mountain no longer exists. Back in 2003, I think, uh, the, old, the profile, basically all the state route signs, the license plates in New Hampshire, everything in New Hampshire um, has the, the profile of the Old Man of the Mountain on there. On their stuff and uh, this is the location where you can view that profile but the profile no longer exists because it fell um, 
in 2003 and now it just looks like any mountain <laughs> rock face mountain yeah it's really nothing but they have a thing set up to show you what it used to look like uh, at that spot so we'll go to that spot and that way you can see what it used to look like but um, this was really the major tourist attraction in this park until it fell now the flume is probably the best attraction here so um, we did that earlier and we did that earlier so so yeah the old man of the mountain I'm getting a phone call we got a picture there oh another picture there us. they are yeah answer it hello are we coming home soon uh yeah we're leaving here within the next half hour to hour we're at the old man right now Yeah, we've already done the flume, we've already done the basin, we're just doing the old man, then we're heading home. Okay. Alright. Bye. There's a little beach over there at the other end. Alright, so these poles over here basically allow you to see the old man. And you just gotta stand behind them in a certain spot. They made several of them, so you it can accommodate big crowds here, but there's nobody here right now. So let's go ahead and set this down. So, looking up. Line up. Okay, right there. Is what the old man used to look like. Yep. It's kind of neat the way they have it. They have it working. So they got several. Whoever did that is brilliant. So, wow, this is crazy. I don't think I've ever been here and have absolutely nobody in this plaza. I remember when I was a kid coming here, uh, it would be absolutely crowded at all times of the day here so they have because for a lot of years before it fell there was um cables and rods and all kinds of stuff holding the face up because it was going to fall uh well before it did and they managed to keep it up as quite a long time before it finally did fall who's kilroy it's a, it's like a little thing that like American soldiers would leave all around like Europe and like oh, okay. World War II. It's uh, some really old graffiti. <laughs> oh, okay. Not, not this particular one, but it's a reference to all that. Yeah, I was gonna say, who's Kilroy? Kilroy. And that's what it looks like taken shortly after all the rocks as they lay on the floor or on the ground. Basically, if you go around this bend on the highway, you get past these trees, all you see is rock rubble. That's basically over the years, the face of this mountain is falling away and it's just a bunch of rubble. Well, these rods and things are just laying there in amongst that now, what used to be the old man. And they actually recovered one of them. And one of those rods is over here. This used to be straight, and look how bent it is. But this is one of the actual rods that was up there holding the old man up. Keeping it from falling. Yeah, as early as 1876, they say. Observers have warned the rocks were shifting and slipping. And see, after it fell, all that's left is those rods there. But yeah, they were doing a lot to try to keep that thing up there, but I guess you can't beat Mother Nature, can you? No, you can't. It eventually fell. Yeah, we just got a phone call. So, my parents are waiting for us to go 
grab a bite to eat or I think she's making supper. So we anyway, got, we got to get going. All right, so we're headed back to the car. Join us in our next episode where we take the world famous historic Mount Washington Cog Railway to the summit of Mount Washington, a mountain known to have some of the worst weather in the entire world. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching this episode of Two Tourists and a Camera. Please like and subscribe down below. We have everything linked in the description box. Please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook all the places. And uh, be sure to hit that bell at the bottom as well. That way you'll be notified as soon as we put up a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.